long time. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old songs. Yes, ma'am. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I am getting ready for the day. I still feel like I'm acclimating to being home from my trip, even though it is, it's, it's been a while. Um, you're seeing this video even later, but uh, it has definitely been a while. And I think because, I don't know, I, I was just gone for such a long time and maybe I'm not used to that anymore. But, you know, I was sitting here thinking like, oh my God, like it's just so nice to be like with my stuff. And I think that's what I always miss. I don't want to say the most because I do miss my husband. I do miss butters. Those are the two people, two things in my life that I miss the most, but I really miss my stuff. I always, always really miss my stuff because obviously you can't pack everything. And I always seem to forget like the one thing that apparently would bring me comfort on the trip. So anyway, I was just sitting here looking at all of my skincare and everything and I'm like, Oh, how I've missed you. You know what we're gonna do today is we're not gonna go outside. That's that's <laughs> number one because it is supposed to reach like 115, 117 degrees Fahrenheit uh, here in Vegas. And um, that's at the point where when you're driving and the AC is blasting, it's still too hot because it, you're like literally sitting in a greenhouse and it's just so uncomfortable. It's just hot all around. So I think we're just gonna be poking around. Oh, there's something that I prepped this morning that I definitely wanna share with you guys, uh, like some details of it, but I wanna see uh, Butters' reaction. So it's something from Miss Butters. It is in the freezer <laughs> as we speak. I thought it would be good since it is so hot. She does still like to go outside and I'll let her outside for a little bit throw like a couple, well, two or three throws and then back in. Um, and she just doesn't seem to mind the heat. It's so, it's so interesting. I mean, she I grew up here in Vegas, so I guess she's just kind of used to it, but she's, she's a hot weather dog for sure. Because even in the winter here, when it's not that cold, it's like, I don't know, 50 and I put a sweater on her. She just doesn't like it. She doesn't want to be, you know, out on a walk. She just turns around, she does her business and turns right around. So yeah, she loves this weather. Anyway, wow, I am way off topic, but uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna hang around the house today and see what can we do on a really hot day in Vegas when we stay indoors. Okay, so first what I wanna do today is I wanna start a 90 day challenge. And I don't know if you guys wanna try this along with me, but I'm really, really excited to do this. So I'm gonna be trying the Nera Precision Laser uh, home device for the first time today. And this is an FDA cleared, clinically proven, wrinkle reducing device. And I couldn't be more excited to try it. So I am working with Nera on this portion of the video. I'm so thankful to them for allowing me to like try this whole thing out um, on camera with you guys. Uh, that's how confident they are in this product and I have like poked around YouTube and see you know try to see if like there have been other reviews and things and it seems like this is a very effective tool so I am very excited as you guys know or you may not know uh, but I'm turning 50 in about two months so the wrinkles are coming in they're coming in loud and proud so we're gonna see if we can kind of mute them a little bit and it is also supposed to help with like uh, dark spots and skin texture um, and if you have like hooded eyes it's supposed to help with like uh, lifting and things like that so I have some pretty major spots like around this particular eye of course this is the eye that's against the window when I'm driving so um, I have some darker spots over here versus over here and this is FDA clear to use around your eye which I think is fantastic I think I was most excited when I read that because so many products so many devices and as you guys know i use um, other at-home devices but 
sometimes or most of the time they say avoid the eye area avoid the eye area but this is actually cleared to be used around the eyes so i'm very very excited to be able to kind of target this very thin skinned area where we really start to show signs of aging i would say first it's where we like express the most i would say and it is also you know the thinnest skin on our face um that and like around our lips. So actually, before we get started, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a picture of myself. And this is something I almost always forget. You know, I start testing something, whether it's, you know, a device or skincare, and I just start using it. And then I'm like, oh wow, I see a difference. And then I'm like, well, <laughs> I didn't document it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture. Now, we're gonna to have to take the same picture in 90 days, which is very tough the sun moves, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna try our best. I think uh, what I'm gonna do is maybe take it by the window. So let me see, let's try this. Open it and let's see how bright it is. Okay, we got some good pictures. You can really see the fine lines, of course I will post these up there for you. God, look at those, look at those sunspots. So you can see those nice and detailed there. Isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's the, uh, my other side. So yeah, we have some good details there. All right, well, let's start this challenge. Hopefully, hopefully it will help. It will help my skin situation. So yeah, I'm definitely getting more and more um, spots but I am going to really focus on the under eye here. Uh, I'm gonna probably focus on this spot here. I really want to um, kind of just focus on one thing at a time basically. And I think if it works for me wrinkle wise and maybe for this one spot here that I have right in the corner of my eye, then maybe I'll start to use it like on uh, these bigger spots on my uh, face. This is a rechargeable device. And if you hold down, the power button, you'll hear that cute sound. And then I'm not sure if you guys can see the light, but there it is. So the light is there and then there's five levels and right now it's at level one. And if you hit the power button, you'll hear that tone. And then hopefully you can see there's like two lights there now, three, four, five, and then back down to one. You know, five is the strongest, one is the lightest, and strongest in terms of like the pulse. And then this button here is what you hit when you want to actually create a pulse. So I have it on the first level. I have pretty sensitive skin, so I'm just gonna start there. I think if you have pretty resilient skin, or if you're used to maybe going to the dermatologist's office and getting treatments, which I'm not used to, but if you are and you feel like you can kind of take a little bit more, then maybe start at two or three, but I leave that up to you. I'm gonna start it at level one. And then what you wanna do is put this up against your skin and then you wanna hit this button. And here. So you'll hear uh, a tone when you hit the button and then you'll hear this higher tone when it's basically done with the pulse and then you wanna move the device over. And I'm glad I left it on one. This is strong. <laughs> I can really like feel the pulse. And this shouldn't take you more than like two minutes a day if you do one eye for one minute and one eye for the other minute. So what you wanna do is just gently move it over your under eye area or wherever you're targeting and just move it back and forth. So I believe Nira recommends doing maybe like uh, seven or eight dots underneath one eye, like in a row, and then right underneath that seven or eight dots and then underneath that. So you get this whole area. I'm also gonna focus on the outside here because I feel like that's where I get a lot of uh, fine lines. And then you move it over to the other side. Now Nira will um, detect whether or not this is up against the skin. So let's say I hit the button but then move it, did you hear that tone? It was a much uh, deeper, longer tone. So you wanna make sure that you move it after you hear that higher tone. 
pretty easy. Now I'm gonna stick with level one. I guess maybe when it gets to the point where I don't feel like, ooh, like I can really feel it, then I'll move up to level two, but I'm just gonna stick with level one and see what happens. And I don't have any skincare on. I just am doing this over bare skin. I just feel like that's always the safer bet, unless of course they recommend something, but I just think, you know, I don't want any of my skincare to maybe interfere. I lost count. <laughs> oh, and then there was like a loud uh, dinging there that tells you basically that you should be done. Well, that's really helpful. Oh, I love that. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this down and that powers off the tool. It's also very, very light, which I like. All right, well, I'm gonna be using this device every day for the next 90 days. Today is day one and I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited. Like you can see in those pictures that I took, my skin is, you know, you guys always compliment my skin. You guys are very, very nice. But like I said, I'm gonna be 50 and a lot of my past sins are coming up, like all of those spots. And I definitely have dryness, especially around my eyes, uh, skin textures uneven, and I definitely am developing those fine lines. So. So I'm very, very excited for Nero to work its magic. So anyway, thank you to Nero for sponsoring this portion of the video. And again, I invite any of you guys to try this 90 day challenge with me because Nero does have a 90 day back guarantee. And that 90 day starts when you receive your device, not when you place your order. And you could always make an assessment after, you know, 70, 80 days. If it doesn't work for you, then you can start your return. So I think that's really exciting. And of course, I'll leave a link down below in my description box where you can purchase Nira. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for uh, the rest of my day. And we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what it was that I was preparing for butters this morning. So while I was in Italy and Europe, I was traveling with my friend Sarah. You guys have seen her if you've uh, watched the vlogs. Anyway, if you haven't, I traveled with uh, there with my friend Sarah. Sarah is a woman that I used to work uh, very closely with, and we became very close, obviously. We're still friends uh, many years later. And Butters is, or she's the reason I got Butters. So she got uh, a dog, um, and again, this was, you know, a gazillion years ago. But she got a dog, um, and she was showing me pictures of her, whatever, she finally got the dog. And this dog was like a dream. She just was a sweet angel. She named her Phoebe, we call her Phoebes. And she just, you know, Sarah just went on and on about how like precious this dog was and how she's so well behaved and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, and I had lost my pug. Um, I think just a year and a half, how long had I? About two years I had lost my pug before. And I, um, you know, was kind of getting, or warming up to the idea of having another dog. Anyway, after hearing Sarah talking about Phoebe or whatever, I was like, are there any more from this litter? So there was. So Sarah's sister, um, friend, and father all got, <laughs> all got puppies from this litter, um, all girls. And I was like, Is, are there any left? And there was one girl left. And so we contacted the breeder and they said, yes, there's uh, one girl left. However, someone has already shown interest. They're basically in line before you and you know, whatever. So these other people actually had picked up Butters, but then gave her back for some reason, maybe I think their kid was like allergic to her or like something unfortunate um, happened. And uh, so Butters was returned to the breeder. The breeder reached out and they were like, you know, she's back. <laughs> Do you want her? And I was like, absolutely. So it was on a business trip that I was with, with Sarah, um, when I was going through all this, ended up getting Butters. And the reason why she's named Butters is because Sarah and I were actually talking about cashmere and we were describing it, that it was as soft, it was like fuzzy butter. I was like, oh my God, it's like butter. And then she was like, it's like fuzzy butter. And then, you know, all the news came through about Butters and I was like, that's what I'm naming my dog, Miss Fuzzy Butters. So that's where the name comes from. That is the genesis of Butters. So Sarah has Phoebe, who is Butters sister. And then in the family, there's three other litter mates of Butters, like out and about that we should all get together at one point and like get all the dogs together. So anyway, uh, we have all of the dogs from that one litter, except for one boy, his name is Charlie or was Charlie, I don't know if he was renamed. 
and he's actually somewhere in the Las Vegas area because uh, Butters was flown here and Charlie was flown here as well. And so when I went to go pick up Butters, I was hoping I was gonna see who it was that got Charlie, you know, hoping we were gonna pick them up at the same time. I was kind of lingering and hoping to see the owners uh, of Charlie, but they weren't there and we had to get her home. So anyway, Charlie's out there somewhere in Vegas. There's a cute little Frenchton boy running around. All of this to say, when I was just traveling with Sarah, of course, we were talking about Phoebe and Butters, and she was like, oh, do you feed Butters watermelon? Phoebe loves watermelon. And I was like, no, I never even thought about it because Butters had, you know, the bout with pancreatitis when she was a baby. I've been really, really careful about what I feed her because pancreatitis is ultimately what took down my pug. So I'm very sensitive about it. And, um, I thought, well, watermelon doesn't have fat, and that's like really what you have to be careful with um, when it comes to pancreatitis. I'm like, well, watermelon doesn't really have fat, and she could definitely use like the extra calories, because as you guys see, Butters is very skinny. She's very active. Um, I feed her more than what's recommended, like on the box or whatever. She just, her body just goes right through it. So I'm like, okay. So anyway, she's like, oh, I like to puree up the watermelon and put it on those licky mats. So on Amazon, this is such a long story, I'm sorry. So on Amazon Prime, they had those doggy licky mats for sale. So I got a couple, that's what I was preparing. And then I pureed up some watermelon and then I put it in the freezer and then she can like lick it up. So let's see if these are frozen. So are these frozen yet? Um, I think they are. How I should serve it to her because it's definitely gonna get messy and very, very sticky. And I can definitely, the licky bats have like suction cups underneath. So wherever I put it, it's gonna just stay there. So maybe I'll just do it right by her food bowl because there's tiles in there and I can just mop it up really easily if it gets everywhere. <coughs> yes, Butters? What's up, baby? Do you want watermelon licky mat? I was gonna kind of save them for when I took her out to play ball and she gets all hot and then I think she'd really appreciate it. Maybe I'll do that. Let's go out and throw some balls. It's still, well, it's late morning. Let's see what the temperature is. It is 104. Okay, we're gonna throw about three balls, Butters. That's about it. Who wants to play bally? <laughs> I still remember the feeling. I wanna dance till I can't no more. shorter than I wanted because there is this giant, I'm going to call it a hornet, but it is a giant bee-like thing that is all gold that has been harassing me. It lands on my sliding door window. It lands on there so I can take a very close look at it. And I actually posted a picture on threads of it, which I'll like throw up up here. It's actually, he's actually, he or she, I don't know. It, it is actually a beautiful insect because it is like gold. Um, its wings are gold. It's huge. It's like probably a little over two inches long. I mean, huge. I can see the stinger at the end of its like butt, um, the eyes, everything, but it is giant. Anyway, it was on my sliding door yesterday and I was like, I am not going outside. <laughs> until that thing is gone. So anyway, it's flown away. I've been like looking outside. I haven't seen it. And so we were just outside and it was flying around. So we came back in. It is, I feel like you'd have to go to the ER if you got bitten by this thing. So anyway, the last thing I want is for Butters to get bitten by it. I don't want to get bitten by it. So we just came in. I'm sorry, baby. She, <laughs> do you see her? <laughs> She's like, well, that sucked. We only threw about like five balls. It's so bad. This actually looks like um, <laughs> raw meat. <laughs> Let me break off all of this because this is really going to be a mess. 
And then, let me see if I can show you. So there's all these suction cups underneath. Yeah, this is gonna be a sticky mess. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this by her food bowl, which is in the laundry room where there's tile mats and I can just clean it up when she's done. my crazy hair so I wore <laughs> I wore in a bun all day yesterday and then I just fell asleep with it in the bun and now my hair looks like rope isn't that lovely um, anyway I'm just sitting here sipping some coffee how's everyone doing I signed up for an ultra class at stride the ultra classes are how long are they? they're 75 minutes long that's what makes them ultra and it's a combo class, which means we'll be on the treadmill and on the floor doing weights, which is great. <laughs> I have not worked out that much since I got back from Europe. I've only gone to one stride class, um, which was painful. I think my legs are still sore from it. So yeah, I just need to get back on track. Um, I am actually going out of town again this week just for two nights. So I'm going to New York and I'm going for a photo shoot. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm going for a photo shoot. I will, I will share more later. I think I'm going to do a whole vlog about that trip, but yes, I am going to be a hair model if you can believe it. So, uh, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm going back to New York. Um, so that'll be nice. I'm hoping to catch up. I won't have a lot of time obviously cause I'll be going for work or whatever. And, um, I think the shoot is going to be all day and Anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to catch up with a couple of friends while I'm back there, but, um, and I was thinking about staying like through the weekend or something. And I was like, you know what? I've been gone. I feel like I've been gone so much, uh, lately that I, I was like, I can't, I, I just need to get home. So, um, and I was just in New York in May. So, um, yeah, so that's just going to be a two, a two nighter. So I feel like every time I kind of get back on track or I get like in that mindset, it's disrupted by some sort of trip or uh, people coming to visit and you know, whatever. Anyway, I have to just get those workouts in when I can. And I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous vlog. So in terms of packing, um, I really like those roll up Ziploc bags that I had for packing. It really did save quite a bit of space um, in my luggage when I went over to Europe. But my friend Sarah that I traveled with, she had a couple of those space saver bags that you could actually pump the air out of. And it was, I mean, incredible, really, really incredible how like thin she got those bags that were like full of clothes. So I picked up some of those uh, during Amazon Prime Day, but I'm really excited to try those out because for these two nights in New York, I am definitely not bringing any check luggage. I refuse, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, especially because I'm flying into JFK, which is a mess. And Vegas has always, I would say the majority of the time it's been fine, but ever since, well, during the pandemic, which is totally understandable, but even after the pandemic, if you check back, sometimes it takes a really long time for it to get to the uh, conveyor belt. And um, it's just, you know, lack of ground crew. So anyway, I'm just doing carry on. So I had mentioned um, in a previous vlog that um, now that I have uh, my assistant Lizetta here, I'm able to take on a couple of projects that I've always just put off. I've needed help or I just haven't had time to even deal with it or think about it. And one of those things is selling some of my really gently used makeup, uh, makeup that I've purchased myself. Obviously I can't sell 
um, makeup that was sent to me in PR. So just going through the makeup and figuring out what it is that I want to sell, what's worth selling, um, you know, all the makeup. I, I, you know, I didn't want to sell anything that was beyond like just gently used. So anyway, we started down that and I will leave a link to my Mercari store down below my description box. Everything is pretty, at least like 30% off. Um, and like I said, a lot of these products are, you know, maybe like used once or twice or just swatch, you know, things that I buy for videos, um, things that I buy that I thought I'd be interested in, products that I love, but I just, I only have one face and I have so much makeup. A lot of Chanel because Chanel never sends me <laughs> PR, so I know all of my Chanel I purchased myself. But everything else I kind of had to sift through and like make doubly sure that like I purchased that, I purchased that because it's... It's a lot. You guys know how much makeup comes in and out of this house. We have about, we made a whole spreadsheet. I think we have almost 80 items up there and I'm gonna continuously put stuff up there, you know, as I go through my collection or whatever. So yeah, I, you know, when I mentioned it, I just simply mentioned it in my other vlog. I was like, yeah, you know, we'll get to it or whatever. I hadn't put anything up on Mercari or whatever, but I got so many comments. Where's the link to your Mercari store? Where, where can you send us the link? Like, why didn't you put the link? <laughs> It's like, it's, it's not up there yet. It's not up there yet. So anyway, it is up there now. And the link is down below my description box. I'll probably also post um, some things like on my Instagram or whatever, um, just to kind of drive some traffic over there, just so I can get this stuff out of here. Just get it out of here. So we've, let me show you actually. So here's a quick preview of all the things that uh, I'm gonna be selling. And a lot of things like this, I know I purchased myself because it's in the box, but Shantikai has sent this to me. So I've been using what they send me and I'm like, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna sell what I bought. So yeah, anyway, just lots of stuff, lots of stuff. And all of the stuff I, I love because all this makeup has made it through a lot of declutters and I just, I just don't, I just can't get around to using it. I just don't have the time. Um, I only have one face, like it, yeah. Anyway, it's just, I'm looking through that box and I'm like, do I really wanna get rid of that? <laughs> yes, yes, Michelle, you really wanna get rid of that. So anyway, um, again, the link will be down below in my description box. So I think I'm over my jet lag. Um, it's been about a week and I've been sleeping through the night. Yesterday, I actually napped, which I don't do often because I don't recover. I'm really bad at recovering. I have such a hard time um, waking up. And then when I wake up, I'm like in a f like zombie state for pretty much for the rest of the day. But I just couldn't help it. I was so exhausted. And it was after a full night's rest. I've been sleeping through the night. You guys know I was having some troubles um, staying asleep through the night. Um, but that phase has passed, um, I'm sleeping through the night, and then took that nap, and then last night I was like, oh, I probably screwed myself, you know, I'm probably not gonna be able to fall asleep until like late because I took such a long nap. Nope, at like clockwork between 8.30 and nine, I started getting really sleepy, I passed out by nine, and I woke up at five, just a solid eight, eight another eight hours of sleep. So I think I'm through my jet lag, and hopefully I feel well rested all day today. I don't know. I don't know. I've just been, I've just been really tired. I'm chalking it up to the traveling. Um, if it goes beyond this, we'll have to see <laughs> what's going on. And also perimenopause is definitely screwing with me. It is definitely like messing with my energy levels. Um, there are some days where I wouldn't say I'm hi like hyper. I'm not a hyper person. I, I don't think I ever reached that state. <laughs> even if I drink like a pot of coffee, but there are some days where I'm like very awake, very okay energy wise. And then there are some days where I can nap, I can sleep all day. I feel like I can sleep for weeks, you know, just really, really drained. So anyway, at the moment I'm chalking it up to traveling. In general, I've been chalking up to perimenopause, but um, yeah, I think it's starting to kind of like disrupt my life. So I feel like I probably should go to like a nutritionist, you know, cause a lot of changes, obviously a lot of changes are going on when you go through perimenopause. So I feel like, I feel like I need to re really kind of like work with that, you know, 
up until now, I feel like I've just been addressing certain things like the not sleeping and I got those um, perimenopause supplements, which helps a lot and I don't even take them anymore and I feel, <laughs> I feel fine. It was almost like it just fixed me. So anyway, I've been thinking about um, going to a doctor to talk about nutrition regarding perimenopause and how I can eat to just kind of balance my system out, you know, just because so many changes are going on that I feel like anything I've ever done in the past that's helped me regarding energy or that's helped me regarding, you know, weight or just how I feel in general, it's not working. My body feels quite different from how it's ever felt, understandably, uh, quite different from how it's ever felt. So yeah, I'm kind of like looking into uh, talking to a doctor about nutrition in relation to aging and perimenopause or whatever. So if that ever gets off the ground, I'll let you guys know. But it's not something I want to just ignore or ride out. Um, I, think, <laughs> I think when I was much younger and I thought this part of my life would be, I don't know, a couple months. I didn't really think about it, but you know, as you get older and you start to ask questions and you uh, actually pay attention to people talking about it, I was like, oh, this lasts for years. So when I realized, I mean, years ago, when I realized that it was gonna take years to kind of get through this, this change um, in my life, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to just sort of like grin and bear it. I'm gonna have to address it. So yeah. Anyway, I will keep you updated um, with that, but that's just something I've been thinking about and toying around with. Um, if you got, I know many of you have gone through perimenopause, menopause, you know, the whole, all of it. If you have any insight, please let us know down below in the comment section. I like talking about it because I think women are talking about it more and um, I think it's really important. Again, it was like when I was younger, I didn't realize that it lasted for years because no one talked about it. I just figured, oh, you get a couple hot flashes, right? You get a little bit more emotional and then bam, you're done and you're through it. Yeah, I just, I had no idea that it lasted for years. So yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep this conversation going, shall we? What else is going on? I think I'm gonna make some breakfast because it's six o'clock and my class starts at 9.30. I don't usually like to eat before I work out. It just, you know repeats on me, um, but I think three and a half hours is long enough. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. The breakfast I've been loving, I usually just do eggs. I'm pretty simple in the morning, you know, when I'm home, but I don't know, sometimes, and this happens to me all the time, I'll do eggs nonstop for months and all of a sudden I'll wake up and be like, I cannot have another egg. Like I just kill it, I overdo it. So what I have been doing is, mixing some um, grass-fed Greek yogurt with some almond butter and blueberries. And oh, we need, we need more blueberries, but some blueberries. And just mixing all of that up. And it's nice in the uh, summer months, it's been so hot here, um, but it's been nice when it's warm out because it's, it's a cold breakfast as opposed to like, you know, steak and eggs. So speaking of, it has been absolutely broiling, broiling here. We've had an excessive heat warning uh, pretty much since I got back from Europe. So it's been going on for like almost a week and I just haven't gone outside really. I'll walk Butters. Um, I'll walk her first thing in the morning. In fact, I should probably wake her up. And um, sorry, I'm mixing up this butter because it separates this almond butter. It's quite messy. So yeah, it's just, it's just been rough. Okay, so I'm just mixing up the yogurt and the almond butter where it looks like literal poop. <laughs> so appetizing. I have already washed these berries, so I'm just gonna throw them right in. And that is it, breakfast, voila. Oh my god, don't be alarmed. This is what I look like after a 75 minute class. Can you even hear me? I have the AC on so high. <laughs> you can only probably hear wind. Anyway, wow, that was one heck of a class. I've really good.
really good. And the floor work was great. It was like really basic stuff, which I like, like squats, bicep curls, <laughs> tricep dips, like really basic, big muscles. Okay, I'm waiting for everyone around me to back out before I make my move. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to get a, a cold drink, but I think I need to just go home and cool down. Oh my God. I can't even touch my car steering wheel right now. It's so hot. So anyway, all right. See you guys back home. Hello. I just showered after working out. I can barely move my legs. I'm just like shuffling around the house. I can barely like keep my arms raised. I am going to be so sore tomorrow. Anyway, that was a very good workout. It was just long. It was very long. And um, yeah, I was pretty much just like an eating sloth while I was in Europe. So it's hard. It's hard to get back on track, isn't it? Okay. Um, it is day two for, for Nira. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to start working it since I have bare skin still. So I'm going to start from the outer corner here. and just work my way around. All right, done. I love how fast that is. I knew I'd be able to do the 90 day challenge knowing like how quick it is, like just two minutes done. I love that. I refuse to blow my hair dry because it's just too hot out. It's gonna make me really hot, so. This is it, this is all I could do for my hair. Um, so these are the space saver bags that I got. Um, I got this during the Amazon Prime days sale. I'm trying to remember if this was actually on sale because I was gonna get them anyway. And I don't, actually I don't think this was part of the sale. Anyway, um, that's what I did purchase them though. And these are the actual space saver, space saver bags. So six come in here and they had the option of like small, medium, large, extra large. I just got small, which is 24 by 16 inch bags because I just want them to go into my carry-on. All right, so here is what one bag looks like. The plastic does seem very sturdy, which is great. Three, four, five, six, and then there are the clips that you can like run over the Ziploc portion to make sure they're closed tightly. Um, I didn't end up really using these on my other bags. I just used my hands. Um, it was just as easy because these kind of, you can put, take them on and, and take them off. So they come off very easily. So anyway, they kind of got in my way. Um, and then let's see, that. here's the pump that it came with. Um, open the cap and place the hose of the vacuum or the included hand pump, which is this guy, um, over the valve and vacuum air out. Do not remove the foam valve piece inside the cap. I guess that's this pink guy. Uh, removing will cause the bags to reinflate. Okay. And then after vacuuming, you just put the cap back on quickly and it creates an airtight seal. Well, I'm not really ready to pack, but I am interested to see how well these work. So <clears throat> I do have a towel here. Is that too big? Let's try it. Okay, 
this is quite an arm workout, so I wouldn't recommend doing this after doing like a really hard workout, just FYI. This is actually pretty amazing. I can't believe how hard this is. <laughs> okay, so let's say I'm done, and now I'm going to quickly replace the cap. And look how flat that is. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. This is gonna be really, really great for packing. I never really liked these Space Saver bags for like storage. You know, I think they were really popular for like storing your, you know, comforters or your out of season clothing or whatever. I would get it all like vacuumed out like that. This is, you know, a gazillion years ago when they first came out. I would get them all vacuumed out like that. And then they would just slowly reinflate because I guess the seal isn't, you know, it's not 100%. Um, and then it would just, it would just kind of be a mess. And then, you know, I'd have everything tucked away, but then everything would slowly grow and it would start to tip over in my closet, I remember. And so I just really, really hated them. But for packing, because it's for such a short period of time, just like while you're actually traveling, it's great. It's great. I think this is going to be really, really great. So anyway, I do think, I think I could have gotten an even smaller bag. So again, this is the... 24 by 16, which looks small, but like a carry-on bag, like the inside of one, isn't actually that big. So yeah, I think I could have, I don't know if they have like an extra small, but anyway, uh, very handy. I'm very excited to pack for my, my upcoming trip to New York now. So a package just came in from Amazon. I ordered these um, pins for picture hanging because I only had nails and I got those three little oil paintings when I was in Florence and all of the hanging, it's not like just invisible on the back, they're all at the top of the frame. So whatever you're hanging it off of would be visible. So I wanted to get something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I got these pins, they're like antique brass and then you can just hang them here and this is flat against the wall and it has a a star. I really could do without the star, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> they have a little star. So, like here is one of my eyes. So I could hang it like, like that. I thought that would look nice. Like I said, I only have like nails or like big hanging ones. Ones that are meant for like, you know, if there's like a wire along the back of the frame and you want to hang it that way. But with these, I really wanted something cute. So, I think where I want to hang these little oil paintings is right here in the kitchen. Let me turn you around. So uh, this is where we come in from the garage. So this is like 99% of the time how we walk into the house. There's a laundry room where I feed butters. There's like a couple steps here and then here are the lights for our kitchen. So I feel like we're um, always at these lights and so since this is just like a narrow little wall here, I thought I'd hang them up right above this light switch. packages appear. This is totally random, but QVC, I actually um, put up a story while I was in London about this deal on QVC and I really want to try it. So I placed an order because this was a, a really deep discount. I'm trying to remember what the discount is now. Anyway, the extra special discount is over. Um, I posted it while I was there, um, but it's still a pretty good deal because it's like a three pack of sunscreen. So this vacation brand came out with this classic whipped cream SPF 30 sunscreen and I saw it like all over TikTok and people were like raving about it and I just loved this like retro vibe. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I always need sunscreen, especially here in Vegas. So I thought I would give this a shot. So anyway, I ordered this. It came from QVC and the set also comes with two bottles of their SPF 50, which is really great. This is probably more the um, protection that I need. So this has 
um, chemical sunscreen, and I believe this does too. Yeah, this has chemical sunscreen as well. So I'm really curious about this classic whip because it's supposed to smell like incredible. So it does have has a top that looks just like whipped cream. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's really light and moussey. It really, you know, it's so strange. It smells like the beach when I was a kid, when I would go to the beach and I would go to, this is not gonna paint a pretty picture, but you would go to like the hut that was like the bathrooms and sometimes they had like a drink stand or whatever. And you would go there and it would be like that smell, the smell there where everyone smelled like suntan lotion. It smelled a little bit salty. It smells a like a teensy bit like chlorine-ish a little bit from like maybe cleaning products. It literally has all of those smells. So it smells, it smells like that. Isn't that weird? It literally smells like the beach, but like in every way. That's funky. Wow, it's like really bringing me back. That is so interesting. I wonder if they really meant to do that on purpose. I would assume so. Have you guys tried that? <laughs> you guys have to let me know down below in the description box what you think of the smell. Very interesting. Okay, so that was another box that appeared. And then finally, I got my um, forward loaner bag this month. So if you guys are not aware, I've mentioned this a couple times, um, the website forward, fwrd.com, they send me every month a loaner bag and um, I get to pick it out, which is great. And if I like it, I can keep it. And if not, I just send it back and I pick out another one and they send me another one. So I loved, loved, loved that Row Alley Hobo bag. That was my loaner for last month. And I was like 99% sure I was keeping that one. But when I came back from Europe and I had bought all of those things and I bought my Loewe puzzle bag, I was like, let me just return this hobo. If I wanted, I could always like get it. Like I could just buy it myself. Um, so anyway, I returned that and this is my loaner bag for the month. Isn't this so cool? It is Loewe. This whole thing is rubber and it's actually kind of squishy. It's like hard rubber. It's kind of squishy. It actually reminds me of one of Butter's like toys. It's like hard rubber and it's the Loewe anagram, as you can see. It's a little weighty because it is all rubber, but it's so cool and it does come in a different color. The Loewe color palette for the fall has come out and it's really pretty. There's this orchidy pink kind of color and it comes in, um, in this bag. And uh, yeah, just the color palette is really pretty. Anyway, I love, love, love this bag. I really think this one is gonna be a keeper. It has a little Loewe tag here, and then it just has the bag kind of sitting inside. This whole thing comes out. It's got a drawstring at the top. This is just cotton, and it's pretty much just a hold in my hand strap length, but you know, this does squish down, and I can get this over my shoulder. Like, that's not a problem. It's a little bit close up into my armpit, but I can if I want but I really have been just kind of carrying it um, in my hand. But I just, I love it. I just love Loewe, as you guys know. There's like a sense of humor to J.W. Anderson's designs, and I, I just, yeah, yeah, I have fallen in love. So anyway, I'll leave a link to this down below in my description box, but this is, it's just such a fun bag. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you to Nira for sponsoring those portions of the video. And definitely take that 90 day challenge with me if you are interested. I'm really, really excited to see how my under eyes, eye area looks after 90 days. Um, and they do have that money back guarantee. So no money lost if you don't feel like it worked for you. And of course, I'll leave a link to that product, uh, the Precision Pro, uh, down below in my description box. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.